there. In previous lesson, you learned the loss of radicals. Now, you will learn how to use those radicals in simplifying um, radical expression. So, let's continue. So now, I um, I teach you what uh, the basics first, the lo loss of radicals. Now we're going to to proceed to the proceed to the simplifying using loss of radicals. In in that lesson we're going to use um, this this law n root of x y is equal to n root of x times n root of y and this law n root of x over y is equal to n root of x is equal uh, over n root of y and the third one is n root of n root of x is equal to m m n root of x okay so those three are the important ones that we're gonna use in simplifying loss of uh, simplifying of radical expression okay I have here some examples okay square root of four, 48 so square root of 48 just like that so we're gonna use in this loss of radicals this is the product law the quotient law and the other other low you know what i mean so in in the first question uh, in the first example we're going to use the second the the product law so in square root of 48 we doesn't have any root for it so we're going to factor it out as square root of 16 times 3 16 times 3 is 48 so so now we're gonna separate them 16 uh, square root of 16 times square root of 3. So square root of 16 we have 4. 4 times 4 is 16. Now square root of 3 doesn't have any root, so it will be remain the same. We're just gonna copy it. Then we'll remain as our final answer. Okay? Right. Number two. Okay? Number two. We have Fourth root of 324. That's a lot, right? That's it. We remain as the final answer. Right? So number three, we have now in this in this example we have cube root of 108 over 4. Now this one doesn't fall in the second low, so we're just it is in the quotient low in this one. So we see the low. Okay. Okay. Now, number three example, we have the um, cube root of 108 over 4. Uh, we're just going to use, we're, uh, instead of using this form, we're just going to divide first. So, it will be um, 108 divided by 4 is equals to, is equals to 27. Right? And then, copy the radical. Cube root of 27. Now, cube root of 27 has a root, so it would be 3. Because 3 times 3 times 3, just put that, 3 times 3 times 3 is equals to 27. So, this will be our final answer. Okay, number four. That is really, um, you know. So, one of the rules that you you will identify that the expression is simplified because the denom denominator would, would not be in radical form. So, this has this equation has radical form, so it, would, it is not simplified in the first place. So, now we're going to simplify it. Okay, now... 6 over 7. Ah, uh, 6 over square root of 7. X. Okay, now, 7x. We're just going to think of some numbers that will um, multiply to 7 so that it would fall in square root. So, so now we have 6 over square root of 7x times I think that it would be best of 7x and then square root of 7x. 6 times square root of 7x is 6 square root of 7x over 7x. Uh, square root of 7x times square root of 7x is equal to square root of 49x. Squared. Don't forget the squared, okay? So, so equals to would be the same, okay? There's no problem on that. It would be the same. Square root of 49 x squared. We uh, square root of 49 is 7. 7 times 7 is 49, so it would be 7. So, x, uh, square root of x squared would be x. x times x is x squared. x times x is equals to x squared because 1 plus 1 is equals to 2. x squared. So, now, you can see 6 square root of 7x over 7x you can see that our denominator is not in radical radical form anymore so this will be and all of this is not cannot be 
um, factored out anymore, so it would be simplified, like that is. So, um, that would be our final answer. Number five, square root of 25 y to the far to the power of fifth and z, and then square root of 64 y z to the power of three. Writing is not so clear, but okay, I'm trying my best. So, 25. Now, in this in this expression, this is putting us falling in the third low, which is quotient low. It is the same as this, this one. Four. Now, we're going to, to separate them so we can evaluate all of it. So, square root of 25 times y fifth. What would be the, the number that can be um, find on square root of 2? So, y to the power of 4. Now, leaving the y times z. Okay, y to the power 4 times y is equal to y to the power 5th. Just like that. And now, the denominator, 64, square root of 64, um, copy the y because there's only one. And then z to the power of 3 it doesn't have any um, any square root. So, we're just going to put it as z to the power of 2 times z. z Because z to the power of 2 times z is equal to z to the power of 3. Now, evaluating square root of 25 is... 5. 5 times 5 is equals to 25. Now, y to the power of 4, uh, square root of y to the power of 4, four is y squared. y squared times y squared, y to the power of 4. Now, y, square root of y and square root of z doesn't have any more, more um, value to factor because the index is much greater than the radicon, power of the radicon. So, just like the, um, you will know it as simplified now if the index is much greater than the power of the radicon. So, 5 by squared, we're going to copy the square root of y, say. Now, over 64. Square root of 64 is 8. 8 times 8, 64. Now, y doesn't have any more, so we're just gonna um, skip muna. Skip. So, okay, square root of z squared is z. z times z is equal to z squared. So, we have z here. So, now we have us square root of y and z. Now, we're going to copy that square root of y and z. Yet, it's not. The final answer. Look at here. We have square root of y z in here and square root of y z in here. In law of exponent exponential, if the um the if possible, there would be a subtraction on this kind of equation. So y z minus y z uh, square root of y z and square root of y z in here should be cancelled out, and will lead us to our answer, which is five y squared over eight z. Now, that is our final answer. Now, number six. Okay, now it will not be in this kind of form. It will be not in quotient law anymore. It would be for in the fourth law. Number six, we have six root of 64x to the power of six and y. Now, you can see that six can be factored out as three and two. So, it will be square root of cube root of 64x to the power of six and y. Right here, square root of cube root of 64 x to the power of x, x to the power of 6 and y, 3 times 2 is 6. That's why we get to this equation. Uh, cube root of 64 is 4. 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. x to the power of, uh, uh, cube root of x to the power of 6 is x squared. 3 x squared times x squared. Uh, um, right here, I'm going to x squared times x squared times x squared is equals to x plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 2 for 6 so x to the power of 6 etc so 4x squared was the um, square root of uh cube root of x to the power of 6 now it lead us to y um cube root of y is cube root of y is doesn't have any root so it will just be as cube root of y now going in here we're gonna copy the other one so it will be square root of 4x squared and then cube root of y. Now, this is not our final answer yet. So, square root of 4 is 2. Square root of x squared is x. And now, square root of cube root of y could be 3 times 2 is 6. Square root as uh, 6 root of y. And that is our final answer. Now, in this case, it doesn't fall in this low, so it will be flu it would be fall in the first in the second law which is product law we're just gonna review it okay so square root uh 27x cubed y squared so, uh, so it doesn't have any so we're just gonna factor it all out as 
cube uh, square root of 27, we have square root of 9 times 3. 9 times 3 is 27. And then times x um, squared times x. x squared times x is x cubed, right? So, y squared, we don't have we doesn't we don't have to factor it out because it has a root. So square root of nine is three. Square root of nine is three. Square root of three doesn't have any one, so we're just gonna skip it. Square root of x squared is x. Square root of x doesn't have, so skip. Square root of y squared is y. Now the remaining one, three and x, copy the square root and then three x. So our answer three x three x y square root of three x. And that will be our final answer. Number eight, the last one. Patience, okay? Number eight. We have 12 root of 125x cubed y to the power of 6. What would be factor of 12? It would go as 4 fourth root of cube root of 125x cubed y to the power of 6. So you can see it falls in this low, which is the fourth low. Now, 4 times 3 is 12, right? So that's all it came from. So cube root of 125 is cube root of 125 is 5. Cube root of x cubed is x. Because x times x times x is x cubed. Like this x times x times x. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to x cubed. Now, now um cube root of y to the power of 6 is y to the power of 2. I mean 2. Because 3 times 2 is 6. Because y squared times y squared times y squared is 6. You know? Copy the radical. Okay? So our final answer is 4th root of 5xy squared. That's our final answer. So that is our last example. So I wish you so, learned something. Everyone. So I hope um, that's the end of the video. It is too long. I'm so sorry. But I didn't know that it would be that too long. But I hope you understand and I hope you enjoy the video. So, I'm Liana and this is my peta number 6 for, for math. Bye.